Here's the interior. There's the phone jack right there. And it goes between the wall and the refrigerator and then out to the outside of the house. Here's where I'm gonna mount my radio is up here on top of the fridge. Okay. Here's the phone line that comes out of the house. It goes up the side of the house, kind of cock-a-doodle-doo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that phone line, I'm gonna pull it out of the house, I'm gonna wire tie it up along there so it disappears, and I'm gonna take that existing phone line, straighten that up, because they got it all skew wampus, right? So I'm gonna take this phone line, go like this, I'm gonna take this one, go down the corner, do a nice, neat job of it, make it all look good, okay? Then, where the phone line comes into the house, I'm gonna go up to this row of brick right here. I'm gonna run it inside the brick like a cable TV line, kind of like these existing ones, right? And then I'm gonna go around the gate. Stand by. Okay, I'll be in this row of brick right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the coax down here behind the rain gutter. I'm gonna hook up the center lead of the coax behind the rain gutter right here is a water pipe that goes across underneath here, up the whole side of the house, and it's hooked into the backyard. So that's gonna be my ground plane. So I'm gonna use this whole rain gutter that goes up here, and then it goes up along the eave of the house, all the way to the um, um, chimney. So that's gonna give me about 40 feet of side gutter and about probably almost 18 or 20 feet of vertical rain gutter. What do you guys think about that?